lie to me. What? I want you to lie to me. You want me to lie to you, Mr. Phillips? I need you to lie to me. So that I can get a baseline reading. It's just something I can compare your truthful statements to. Okay. Three plus four equals eight. <laughs> That's not a lie. That's an untruth. Tell me a lie. I, I don't... Everybody has lies, Mr. Jordan. Just tell me one of yours. You have lies? Sure. I didn't misdirect that shit, Mr. Phillips. We're not even talking about that yet. Just give me a lie. Okay. I love my job. Yeah. Me too. Good job, Doug. Poor bastard. Guy transposes a couple numbers on a shipping form. Now he's going to jail. Look, like the guy misdirected nuclear fuel to an IRS office in suburban Ohio. And then, oh yeah, he covered it up. Fair enough. Talk to people who remember things that have never been. Why do people call me and swear that there are millions of people missing? That they remember things that have never been. What is the 240? What the what hell is going the on out there? I don't know if these are not cases. Who listens to this paranoid crap? Know, so many of you know. Paranoid crazy people? Let's get to the bottom of this 240 business. Folks, Kimball into scoring. The and the Boston Yankees still trailing 7 to 1. To run over by. There's 150 bucks. And the Yankee hurler is in the Ain't gonna get any redder than that. Thanks, Jess. Ah! Louis! I have shoes. Hey, kiddo. Give it back, Louis. Hi, Dad. Yeah. I'm warning you. Give it back. No. Louis! Louis has a shoe. Yeah. Notice that. And I have a conference call. I'll feed the kids. Just not peanut butter again. And Abby has homework and Louis needs a bath. Dinner, not peanut butter, homework, bath. The kids are going to work you about that day at the beach you promised. Uh, I mentioned you promised. Whatever. The heat's on. So I covered for you. I told them that you're very busy and I will try and marry better next time. Please go take your conference call. What you animal? Give me my shoe! Kentucky. Louisville. I'm hungry. Where's the mac and cheese? Wait. Alaska. Juno. Michigan. Lansing. North Carolina. Charlotte. Nope. It's Raleigh. What about the hot dogs? Wait them. Mom said no peanut butter. Look, it's that or something undesirable. How undesirable? Yeah, Doug Phillips. Please hold for Undersecretary of Energy Pierce. Agent Phillips? Yes, ma'am. We have an incident at... Hello? Doug, I I'm on a conference call. I'm hungry! <laughs> oh. <gasps> Flynn. Long time. Real long time. Like six years? You get a call? Sort of. What's going on? I need you for a field mission. Field mission? I'm U.S. Marines retired. I'm hungry. Louis, no! My kids. You're a family man now. That's cool. Why don't you give it back? I don't... But there's been an incident, Dad. And the department needs you. The department? No, you work for the Department of Energy, too? In a way. I'm on loan to them for a special project. Doug, what is going on? Is that Flynn? Hey, Sheila. Sorry, but I, I just need to borrow Doug for a little while. You work for the DOE in a way. Doug, I need to be on this call. Doug, we're both under orders. The 
Is it a nuke spell? No such luck. Listen, though, you are the only one who can help me on this. Go. Just go. And nice seeing you, Clem. Yes, yes, I'm here. Uh, uh, um, wait, let me get a pen. Doug, this is Dr. Tony Newman. She knows we served in the Marines together. She's read your file. How you doing? change your life, Doug. Yeah, how are you going to do that? I'm going to invite you to the big show. Gee, Flynn, thanks a lot. Here, see if that fits. You're kidding, right? Sorry, it's a matter of clearance. All right, not for nothing, guys, but I'm cleared all the way to the top. Agent Phillips, you have no idea where the top even is. This would be a good time for you guys to tell me what's going on. Search and rescue. Right, where? It's not where, Doug. It's when. Okay, Doug. It's a real cozy place you guys got here. Tragically, Tony has no sense of humor. That is patently untrue. Confirming identification. Project. Special project. It's hot fusion. You cracked hot fusion? And would that amaze you? Unlimited power, no more fossil fuels, no more pollution. Yeah, that would amaze me. And you're 40 years ahead of schedule. Action. Doug, meet Dr. Hector Belsky. These are from you know where. We're in pre-launch. We've got 14 hours. No, we don't. The storm's picked up speed. You have to be in and out in under three. You have to jump now. Are these chicken or cheese? Chicken. The storm. Do I know what's going on? I don't eat chicken anymore. Since when? Since I saw that documentary on television. Hurtkin Forest? Yes. The battle for Hurtkin Forest. Do you know it as well as Flynn says you do? Answer truthfully, please. I remember those papers you used to write on a back in officer's training. You brought me here to write history papers. The battle. How well I remember it. Hurtkin Forest, the Belgian-German border. Fought from September 44 to February 45. The Germans were dug in, but mud and snow made the Allied advance of the 16th, 18th, and 26th Divisions nearly impossible. In fact, the battle was so intense, Allied commanders called in airstrikes on their own position. Well, you guys know who won the war, don't you? I don't want to ruin it for you. He knows this. He can guide us. Perhaps. I will try one of these dumplings. What storm? We love your country. I love it, but I'm not in love with it. It's just putting in some toast. It started out as hot fusion. Eight months ago, we ignited the hot fusion accelerator. It worked with one anomaly. It unleashed a time storm. If you're going to laugh, do it now. Should I laugh? I did. The storm was unexpected. It's a tear in time, you see? 
when we turned the engine on when the storm erupted, it took us four hours to lock down one end. In those four hours, there were changes in the world above, changes in history. We labeled those 240 minutes the 240. Clever, isn't it? Down here at the core, we were protected. We are the only ones who remember how the world used to be before the 240. The rings in the tunnel before you form a lightning rod of sorts to draw the storm in when we need to. Right. Okay. You've got a time tunnel. Good for you. You're having a hard time with this, yes? Oh, don't be ashamed. <clears throat> it's because it won't fit into your brain. Because, well, to be plain, it's bigger than your brain. Well, most things are. You say you locked down one end of this time storm. Where's the other end? It's out of control. Whipping around in the past. You see, when it changes events back there, it ripples forward and changes things in the present. These ripples show what the time storm is doing in the past. In World War II. Yes. If the ripples move an unseemly amount, we send a team back to attempt damage control. Is that an unseemly amount? Unfortunately, yes. This is the worst we've seen yet. Think of us as FEMA, Agent Phillips. We don't send a team in for a rain shower. We send a team in for a hurricane. Here's what we know. The time storm picked up a single human being in 1546 and set that person down on the Belgian-German border in 1944. Our mission is to jump in, find that visitor, clean up his or her mess, and then jump back before the window closes. You know that battle better than anyone. Jump back in time. Yeah. To 1944. A, a visitor from 1546. <laughs> you know... Can't we just jump back in time 45 minutes instead? I was making peanut butter sandwiches for my kids, and I would really like to finish. We can't send you back to finish those sandwiches. We can only send you to where the time storm is right now. And right now is at the Battle of the Hurtgen Forest. Hurtgen Forest. You mean I go in there... And I come out in 1944. This genius has busted the world, Doug. Now they're working on setting it straight. I don't know if they can do it. I do know that it's going to bust more and more unless we do our job. Now, you want to go back and work that lie detector for the rest of your life? Or... You want to take this trip and save the world? Hello. Hey, babe. Hey, where are you? On the job. Where else? What time would be home? Uh, I'm not sure. It might be uh, late. Are the kids in bed? Finally. Lewis put sand in the VCR. Honey, it, it pains me to say your son is a technophobe. Who can blame him? Oh, yeah, I gotta go. Uh, they need me. Can you give the kids a kiss for me? Sure. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I, uh... You know how much I love you, right? I love you, too. Doug, this is Wix, our medic. Hey, hey. Wix is also not bad hand-to-hand. -hand. I like to think of him as, uh, Bodyguard. Excuse me. Tilt your head back, please. <clears throat> there we go. Relay chip. Sends back all your vital signs to mission control. Also gives them a live feed of what you hear and what you see. It's two ways so you can hear them, and it's language enabled. Mm -hmm. You too can speak German in one simple injection.
Tony Newman you know. This is J.D. Hey. Then. Right. Uh, listen, Doug, when we jump back, we do our job. Nothing else. First commandment, we don't take anything or do anything for personal reasons. If you do, it's considered treason. One misstep back there, and our present changes forever. You got that? See? Okay, let's go for a walk. Man to man, you know, there's uh, something a little different about you, soldier. Don't ask, don't tell. Now, I hope y'all pee, because we're not stopping every 10 minutes. Mr. Salazar, take us to launch mode. I need go, no goes. We are go for medical. We are go for psychological. We are go for control. We are go for strategic. We are go for operations. We are go for tactical. We are go for comm link. Time storm approaching. Losing visual contact. Just keep walking! I will not puke. I will not puke. I will not puke. Acquiring target. Sympathy at 42%. Sympathy at 79%. Just keep walking! Time on target. 10 seconds. 9. We are at maximum eight, power. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Target acquired. Team is away. Everybody all right? Every damn time. Crap. Flynn, the mission clock is running. Set for return in two hours and 15 minutes. Okay. This is where the visitor came through. What's the play, Doug? You're taking the tours, right? You've walked these fields. It's your battle, Doug. That's why I picked you. Is. 
believe that's the Allied air support. Softening up the German 88th Division for their push over the hill. Yeah, if we want to find somebody, we better do it before that attack because uh, this whole place turns into hell. Tick, tick, tick. In my job, I ask a lot of people a lot of questions, and I'll tell you one thing. People return to the familiar. But the bogey's never been here before, Dougie. Nothing is familiar. J.D., I am going to make you like me. About a mile and a half that way, across the Allied line in the no-man's land, there's a church. It's the uh, Chapel of St. Florent. Now, you could see it if it were daylight. Which is when our visitor landed. Right. Now, I'm from 1546. I get put down here in the middle of all this, in this hell. I see a church. I'm going for it. Return to the familiar. Okay. We go for the church. Don't worry, J.D. I'll never make you like him. You don't like anybody. I like you. Everybody likes me. I'm likable. Phillips POV. Take me closer. That watch is appropriate to period, but was not issued by us. All right, look sharp, people. Hey, you've reached Doug's cell. Leave a message here or try me at the office. Thanks. for the church. Stay sharp, huh? Bio. Status on Phillips. Heart rate and respiration well above projected norms. Must be first time jitters. Show me Phillips POV. Phillips, is there a problem? Guys, you need a hand with that or what? We're looking at PFC Douglas Phillips, his grandfather. Sir, our records show that PFC Phillips died in the Battle of Hurtgen Forest. We had only two hours to research the entire mission, sir. Get up. Get your second in that chair. Agent Phillips. So this is why you know our battle so well. You must not interact with him. Listen to my voice. Sir! Stay with this mission. Agent Phillips, you have no idea what you are dealing with. Turn and walk away. I'm a little scared. A little bit. Do you hear me? Why isn't he responding? 
he doesn't want to. I bet your home life must seem pretty far away right now. You'd win that bet, sir. You want somebody at home, Private? Go, go, go. She's pretty. No, I keep thinking about all the times we were together. But I wasn't really there. Thinking about all the wasted time. Look at that. It's kind of like mine. But you've got the wrong time. This watch was my grandfather's. He fought in the last war. JD, we may have a breach. I'm on it. It's my wife, PSC Phillips. And my kids. And they're worth everything I have to give. Tell me, Private, what is your family worth? Everything. What you are going to do today, you're doing for them. You do it for them. Yes, sir! Carry on, Private. Sir! Your grandfather! Let's go! Let's go over here! Did he make it back? Sir! Come on, kid. We're moving out. Let's go! Oh, you know! On, we're moving out! Let's go! Let's forget I asked that. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you, sir. I really wish you hadn't done that. Does this mean you don't like me yet? Put the gun up, JD! I can't do that. Put it up. I can't do it. That was his grandfather. Tell me you didn't talk to him. He dies. Today. He doesn't make it. I've got this, JD. We got a job to do here. We brought him here to find someone. We'll get him squared away. Let me guess, uh, she wasn't always with the Department of Energy. No, she's CIA. Her orders are to take care of any member of the team that screws with time for personal reasons. I'm a major. You tell me why I can't reassign him right now. Take him out of this hell. Because it's happened already. You can't change it. No. He's dead. He's not dead. There's still time. If you screw with the past, you risk everything in the present. Once we're back here, nothing in our time is for certain. Everything could change. Yeah, well, at least he lived. Are you willing to risk your family for that? What do you mean, my family? What are we talking about? Procedure. Procedure. I don't believe you. He's just a scared kid. What difference could it possibly make if he lives? I was an engineer working under Belsky on the hot fusion project. Working close to the core, I was protected. I remember the world before the time storm changed everything. Before those four hours, before the 240, I come from a big family. Three brothers, two sisters. After the 240, when I came back to the surface, that had all changed. My parents were exactly the same. But suddenly I had no brothers or sisters. They were gone. They weren't dead. They just never were. They were part of a life that suddenly had never happened. I'm an only child. I can't even grieve with my parents because all they've ever known is that I'm an only child. 
I wish I weren't like you. I wish I didn't remember. Just do your job. Tony. Don't ask that. You don't know what I was going to ask. We want to know who you were before the 240. Don't ask that. You are who you are. Accelerating again. You have less than 30 minutes to find the visitor. Tony, you took a hit in your pack. Check the return ticket. Let's just nick the case. Copy that. We've got company! No! No, it's okay. No! It's okay. No! 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 It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. You are a mannequin? Yeah. She can spot a GI. She's here and now. Are you alone? Yes. You've seen no one. No one. I'm alone here. Isolate and analyze. Hand spun, coarse weave, mid 1500s. Got him. Can you tell me your name? Hmm? Your name. It's okay. I used to have a brother just about your age. His name was Joseph, back out in beans. Now, if you don't tell me your name, I'm gonna have to call you Beans. Please, please let her go. It was a field of dead soldiers. I was looking for my husband. The boy appeared to me there. God sent him to me. Please, can you tell us your name? Jacques, my lady. I am just a monk, Brother Jacques Menton. How the hell does a teenage monk change the future of the planet? Tell us about your home. I was at Vespers, and there was a horrible sound. And then I was here. The sky was falling, the ground was exploding. Am I being punished, Master? 
am I in hell? No, you are not in hell. Can you tell us about your family? They are dead. They are all dead. My village is dying, dying from the death. Hey, check on that last translation. Checking translation. We got crowds in our six. Go. Let's check it. How we doing on that translation? Reading back now. The others were dying, dying from the death. The death. He's carrying the plague. The church is about to get overrun. Cecil spread to the Allied troops. Len, I think we found your hurricane. And that's how Teenage Monk changes the future of the planet. Every time you sneak a look at my ass, 100 people back in mission control get good luck too. What is happening here? I was praying, and he came in. Get out of here. Now! Where's your regiment? I was on patrol for the 3rd Division. Our half-track hit a mine. I was sent ahead to assess the situation. And how was the assessing? Lucky you're not wounded. Mm. You know what I think? You? I think you're a deserter. I have no report of a half track hitting a mine. Where's your colonel? At ease, Sergeant. I see you have found my man. Yes, with one of the village girls. This is how you investigate the premises? Ampicillin, antibiotic in my pack. I'm on it. Prepping for inoculation. I am Colonel Klink. Our half-track hit a mine three kilometers up the road. We sent Schmidt to investigate. I'm sorry, Colonel, but I must insist on seeing your papers. Schultz. We'll rest here and then set off on foot at dusk. Did you have to slap me? Have to? No. You have issues. You think? Ask Schultz. I know nothing. We're clear. Let's move. What? Up. Come on. This is a potion. It will save you from the death. Good. The work here is done. Let's go home. Wait, what about him? We bring him with us. He doesn't belong with us. He doesn't belong here either. That's the way it's gonna be. You know that. Negative. Negative for return. The ripples are still coming. The plague must still be spreading. Who did we miss? You have 17 minutes. You do what you can in that time, then you come home.
Did you touch the water in the font? Of course. This is a house of God. He contaminated the water. The Germans, they're infected. This is the center of the breakout. Hundreds of thousands of troops will be moving through here. The Germans will spread the plague to both sides. Hey. We have to inoculate Nazis? Technically not inoculate. Inject with an antibiotic. I got one and two! I got three! I got four. I got this last one. He's got to get his intel back. He'll head north. Did your brother Beans die from the death? No. It was something else. There was no potion for him? No. Return ticket activated. Sorry, folks. It's time for you to go. No, please. Please. He needs me. Go. Now. Don't you want to know why? Why God would send so gentle an angel into a world so full of pain? change you can't <laughs> Doug Flynn where are you three minutes and counting until they lose the storm sir Set for return in two minutes. Medical team is yeah, standing right here, by. Right here, right here. Raise up his legs. Raise him for his head. Here we go, buddy. Oh, my God. Okay. Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. Okay. How close are we, Tony? Almost there. the only one who was in the core when it happened. When the time storm ripped open, I was at the core too. I was down there, protected. <laughs> I remember before, before the storm changed everything. I knew you before the 240. I did, I knew you. He doesn't need to know this. Listen to me. You don't remember. Everything was the same for you. Everything except... Oh, God, you a lonely son of a bitch. <laughs> no wife, Doug. No kids. Eight months ago, you... You're a goddamn loner. You understand me? Yeah. I know. I don't know. The 240 gave you a family. Do you understand me? 
Hmm? Yeah. I understand you. Good. Good. So sad. I like you better this way. Return pulse in three, two, one. It's okay. It's okay. Uplink locked. We are bringing you home in 60 seconds. for return. Go. Go to her now. Go. Kid! Hold your ground. He's been injected. 40 seconds. I told you I'd change your life. seconds. Twenty. Take him back. Eighteen. Seventeen. Take him back 16, before he was stabbed. You hear me? 14, Take him back. Twelve. We can only go where the storm Nine, takes us. Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. Hello? 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 sleeping without you. I hope it was for a good cause. Yeah. It was. You're squishing me. Let's go wash your hands. Oh, okay. Hello? Hey, it's Doug. I just had to... Uh, talk to someone. Are you okay? Yeah, I I just, uh, why did Flynn tell me? You know why. To give me something to protect. Did it work? <laughs> yeah. Why are you on the team? What I lost, I lost. The only thing I can do is make sure it doesn't happen to anyone else. You gonna be okay? Yeah. I always am. 